What is the Gospel? The Gospel is the good news that man can now live as God originally intended him to. The one who surrenders totally to the claims of Christ can live a life of constant triumph. Yet many who have accepted Christ as their Savior do not enter into this glorious life that the Gospel offers. Why not? The reason very often is that a good foundation was not laid at the beginning of their Christian life. Our life after we are born again can be compared to a house being built. We all know that the most important part of a house is its foundation. If there is a crack on the third floor, the cause can usually be traced to a faulty foundation. It is the same with our lives. Years after we have trusted in Christ, we can suffer the consequences of a faulty foundation laid at the beginning. The New Testament promises us a life of triumph over sin. See God's promise in Romans 6:14, Sin shall not be master over you, for you are not under law, but under grace. It also commands us to live a life of continual joy, and one totally free from anxiety. See Philippians 4-4, 6 Rejoice in the Lord always. Be anxious for nothing. Remember that God commands only what He will enable us to do. So His commands are in a sense promises of what He can give us grace to achieve. The mentioned commands are therefore a promise that God can enable us to live a life of perpetual joy and one totally free from anxiety. There are many more glorious promises like these in the New Testament. But the ones we've mentioned will suffice to show that the Gospel is good news indeed. Yet the sad truth is that most Christians who claim to have accepted the Gospel do not live the type of life described in the above verses. May the Lord grant us insight and understanding in the finished work of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen.